guys? My name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over this Ad Coder Beginner Contest 171C problem statement. Uh, what is it? What is this problem statement? Oh, one quadrillion and one Dalmatians. Huh, that's weird. Okay. So, uh, whatever, this, this many number of dogs suddenly appear under the roof of a house, all which you wanted to keep. Dogs are numbered one through this many dogs and he gave them names. So 1 to 26 are A, B, C, D, up to Z. 27 to 702 is A, 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 B, A, C, up to Z, Y, Z, Z. 703 to 18,278 is three A's. And then it goes to two A's, one B, two A's, one C, going up to two Z's, one W, uh, one, one Y, and then three Z's. Then we have one eight two seven nine goes up to seven five uh, seven four seven five two five four, and that's four A's and then three A's one B three A's one C going up to Z, three C's one Y four Z's, and then five uh, four seven five two five five, uh, four seven five two five six are five A's and then four A's one B and then yada yada so on. To sum it up, it goes like this. Okay, so this is what it is. And basically, you want, you're given the number N and you want to know what the name of the dog is based on these rules. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, first of all, let's find a relation pattern between all these. All right, guys, so based on what the problem statement said, I redrew all the corresponding numbers and then the corresponding characters that correspond to the numbers. So all these numbers and stuff like that. And now I'm going to basically try to, to solve this problem, you have to think about how the relation between these numbers and the characters, that's what you have to think about. So first of all, we have one to 26 and that's A, B, up to Z. And these are single letters, right? So let's call the length of the, the numbers of this to be L. So because we only have a length one of one character for one to 26, L is gonna to equal to one, okay? Now let's look about the, at the second one. Our length is two, right, AA, A, and then ZZ uh, goes up to ZZ, which is two, so our L is gonna be equal to two. And let's just name L to three, L to four, for all these, right, L equal to five. Right, these are just the lengths of the string. So I, that's just a numbering that I made up, okay? So now let's think about the relation between these numbers. Excuse me. So we, if we look at this, if we look at each, every single character here, right? We realize is that it's actually changing the last character of each number. Um, this should be, this should be a B. Yeah, my bad. This is a B. Um, so if we realize that we're actually keeping the same letter and then we're changing the last character. So A becomes B and we're increasing it by one, right? And we go on so forth and later on we, uh, the first character, we increase it to one afterwards and it gets to ZZ. We do the same thing for the rest of these characters. AAA becomes, um, wow, I'm not doing this right. AAA becomes AAB and then it goes on ZZZ. Um, this is actually, the third one is the same thing. It's AAAA. Uh, fourth one is AAA and then AAAB and it goes to ZZZZ, right? So we're change, only changing the last character and then later we change this character and this character and this character until we get up to ZZZ. And then here it's the same thing, right? So now let's try to represent these characters that we are repeating and we're changing in terms of one to 26 because that's what we represent one to 26 as. All right, so what is 27? How do we represent 27 as 26? That's just 26 plus one, okay? So the 27 is just 26 plus one, and I just wrote that here, okay? Now what's 702? Well, if you try a bunch of calculations, 702 is actually 26 squared plus 26. So if you try a bunch of calculations, you can put that in your calculator and try it, but yeah, that's what it is. Now what's 703? 703 is just 702 plus one. So if we represent 703 as 702 as a, in the values in 26, that's just going to be 1 plus 26 squared, uh, 1 plus 26 plus 26 squared, yeah. How about I represent it in increasing order, right? 
yeah. 1 plus 26 plus 26 squared. And now let's look at 1, 8, 2, 7, 8. What is that? That's 26 to the th third plus 26 squared plus 26, if I recall correctly. 1, 8, 2, 7, 8. Yeah. So it's 26 to the 26 plus 26 squared plus 26 to the third. Okay. And let's look at this one. One, this is just. 18279 is just 18278 plus 1, so we're going to do 21 plus 26 plus 26 squared plus 26 to the third, and then we do the same thing here. It's just the same values, just another power, so it's 26 plus 26 squared plus 26 cubed plus 26 to the fourth, right? Let's just make sure that, let me quickly make sure that's right. Yep, that's right. Oh, yeah. And then uh, this one goes on the same force, so on and so forth. Tw 1 plus 26 plus 26 squared plus 26 to the third plus 26 to the fourth. And then this one is just the uh, last one. Uh, we didn't label it, but it's just 26 plus 26 squared plus 26 to the third plus 26 to the fourth plus 26 to the fifth. Okay? So as we could see here, we're just increasing the power each time of 26 for the last one when we're adding it when we're adding it, right? The first one, we're gonna start at one for all these relations of the pattern. We start at one and we add 26, then we add 26 squared plus 26 to the third. So it's just the last number plus one. And we do this so on and so forth. So now let's try to find a relation comparing to the length of our letters. So here L is equal to, let's start at beginning. Okay, so actually not, not beginning. Let's start at L equal to four. So at L equal to four, we realize that the first starting starting um, number, which corresponding to a a a a a, right? That is one plus twenty six plus twenty six squared plus twenty six to the third. So if L is four, what am I? What is my last exponent? My last exponent is L minus one, right? Look at look at my last exponent. It's three. Three is L, which is four, four minus one. Three is four minus one. So I know I'm iterating through increasing the number of exponents up to L minus one, right? That's what this is. Well, it turns out, turns out that if you were to keep doing this and finding the pattern for all these values, you actually have to get is that the name, the final name of N is going to be the kth name among the 26 to the L names of length L, right? So basically, we if you subtract the current, um, so okay, basic. So basically, we are given the number the number n, right? This is the number that we need to represent this in terms of these letters, right? these letters. And the number of n, it could be like 804, 805, 806, 807. We need to classify this n. We need to classify this n in terms of its l's, right? So if it's if if we find the if we subtract n some number of times, the ones that are not uh, what n is, right? We will get to the certain corresponding length of l. Right? So if n was like 705, right? And if we subtract 705 from 703, right? That'll give us the current current location based on our representation of L equal to three, right? If we could, if we subtract our current number from the boundaries of where it's at, which is like 703, whatever to here, if we find a certain number of boundaries, we subtracted by it, pretty much we would be able to find whichever number it lies between. Right, so if, if it's seven oh, if it, let's say the number is seven oh five, right? If I could find that it's between seven oh three and one eight two seven eight, I know that I have to repeat a length of L of three. That it's a length of three, right? It's a length of three. And then if I know it's a length of three, then I based on the location of which it is from the beginning, I would be able to um, repeat a certain number of letters for that number if you guys understand so like i would be able to repeat a certain number of letters to be a, a a and then a b a c whichever how far it is from my starting number then i could get my 
get my actual representation of what n is, right? Whichever number of representation it is. So if you see this, basically, we have to subtract n from some number from n, okay? And that will give us the kth name among the 26 to the length l, okay? So how do, how do I subtract it? Well, if I look at the last boundaries, 26 plus 26 square plus 26 third, that's length of l, okay? That's length of l. If I were to subtract n minus this last boundary and get that representation of where it is between uh, the starting and the ending, I would be able to get the right location of which, I, which it is I'm repeating. So it turns out we have to subtract n minus 26 plus 26 squared plus yada yada up to l minus 1. Okay, and that's based on what we found so far here, right? So like here, based on this, we, we see that it's, oh, um, this, this last number is going to be L minus one. So that's why we have to subtract it based on that, right? It goes up to 26 to L minus one. And that'll give us the kth name among the 26th of the L length L, okay? So now we want to find the kth among the strings of length L. So now that we have the uh, kth among the strings of length L, we just have to find the kth name among these numbers of L. Okay, so um, to do this, we, we have to think about it in terms of when, we have to, let's re-change re this problem, okay? Make it a simpler problem. Because now, now that we're, I've like found the boundaries of where this L is lying based on this equation, we need to, let's change this problem a bit. Okay, so let's make this problem a little easier. So let's, this is going to be a simplified version. So this is going to be a simplified version. And wh what am I going to simplify it as? Let's consider the situation where there's only 10 alphabets. So there's only A, B, C, up to J. So there's only 10 alphabets, right? This is only 10 alphabets. Under these, this assumption, the number of length L, length three, is going to be 10 to the third. So if, if my length is three of my string, it's gonna be 10 to the third, right? And that's going to be 1,000. And this is going to be the length string AAA, AAAB, going up to AAJ, okay? Uh, not AAJ, goes up to JJJ, my bad, JJJ. Okay, so th that's what this representation is, okay? So among them, th let's say the 246, whatever one is, BDE. In decimal representation, so like the 246th one, let's assume the 246th one is B, D, E. The decimal representation of K minus one, the ones place corresponding to the letter and the tens place corresponding to the second letter and the tenths place corresponding to the I plus one letter is going to be a comparison of A, B up to J corresponding to 0, 1, 2, up to 9, right? So like if the, each letter of the ones place, tens place, hundreds place corresponds to a certain number representation, okay, 0 to 9, right? So similarly, when there's 26 letters of alphabet used in the notation of 20 base 26, the 26th place corresponding to the I plus, uh, I plus 1, last is the last letter right and you could find each digit by the following procedure so you could what you could do is you could initialize a variable basically you could initialize a variable with k minus one repeat it until it becomes zero and you get the remainder of each one by dividing by 26 repeatedly right so how this would work is that let's say you have um you're gonna have a initial variable x and then you um, you initialize it with like k minus one, 
K minus one, which is uh, the K minus one represents the um, yeah okay so k minus one represents so k is the k string uh kth value among the strings of length l right you're going to initialize x with k minus one which gives you the so uh let's say i'm on the fourth place uh, with length um l equal to three right or the 246th place of this of less length is equal to three well, I'm going to initialize this value to have 245, right? Instead of 246, I'm going to have 245 because I want the 246 place. I'm going to repeat this until it becomes zero. And then I'm going to be how get the remainder, the quotient and the remainder when I divide it by 26. So if I get uh, 245 divided by 226, this is going to be like the quotient. And then two remainder is going to be 245 mod by 26 repeatedly like do this repeatedly the ith result of r of this computation is the ith last digit of k minus one right so the last if i do this um 245 times right the ith result of r so like let's say the fifth result of r of 245 mod 26 is going to be the fifth last digit of k minus one okay so uh I, i'll i know this is like kind of crazy to explain so i'm gonna show you guys the code of what i mean okay so that's i'm gonna show you guys the what i mean by that all right all right guys so i'm gonna explain the code while i'm doing the problem itself because i actually haven't done this problem yet actually but i did look at the editorial and then i think i understand what's going on okay so first we're going to initialize our string and it's going to be empty. All right. And that's the string we're going to return. Okay. Now we're going to read in the actual number of N, right? Cause we have to represent the number N that we're reading. And then we're going to change that to the actual corresponding letters, right? That's what we have to do. Okay. So now remember I told you about the 26, um, that you have to mod by 26 every time. And then we're going to subtract one every time because of the, the place of, the i digit, uh, i minus one is going to be the i digit, right? I representation. So what are we going to do? So every time we're going to subtract one from n, okay? And that's going to represent the, the, that's just representing, we will subtract one from n because that's how much the length we're decreasing it by. We're decreasing length by one every single time, right? And we have to represent that that uh, that length be to be that digit that we're changing it into whatever character it is. So we f subtract n by one every single time in this while loop, right? So that changes like the first digit and then it's 10th place and then the 10th the place, 100th place, 1000th place, place, stuff like that, right? So we subtract one to get the corresponding value for each single place, right? For 10th, 100th, 1000th, stuff like that. All right, so now what are we gonna do? We have to divide n by 26, right? Because we're, we're dividing to n by 26 because that's that's based on the equation that we represented. It's n minus 26 plus whatever to l minus one. So we have to divide n by 26 that many number of times, okay? Because that's how you we're gonna represent each 26 by that number of letters, right? There's 26 letters, a, b, c, d, e, f, g, up to uh, z. We're gonna divide it by 26 that many number of times. And then we subtract one from, for representing each place, right? 10th place, uh, one's place, 10th place, 100th place, stuff like that, okay? So now we've got this out of the way. What do we have to do? Um, so now, now we have to add our string. Whoops, my bad. We have to add our string S and we're gonna add it by N mod by 26. So N mod by 26 is the remainder when you mod by 26. So that's the number that we're representing based on the kth place of the beginning of A. So then once we have this number, that's how far it is from A, A to, uh, how far from A up to Z, right? We have to add this to A, okay? And uh, A is just the letter of the character A, okay? So that's what we do here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to do. And then now 
for every single place you add um s plus equal to a and then then it goes to the tenth place hundredth place stuff like that after you subtract this and then we divide by 26 again and yada 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 then all we have to do is see out s okay so now let's just see what this see if this works um so 703 should correspond to a a a a so 703 a, 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 yep, that's right. Now let's look at another one. Um, 705. C, A, A. Um, is that right? I'm not so sure if that's right. 705 should be A, 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 C, actually. Hold up. Let's see, 704. Maybe I have something. Yeah, okay, something's not right. Um, oh, okay. You have to do this because plus equal is weird in C plus plus. Um, why can't I do that? String s plus equal. Yeah, compared to character. Let's see, seven o four. A B. Yeah, yeah. So the, uh, we have to convert this to a character, and then we have to add s. Because plus equals actually adds it to the beginning, right? We have to add it to the end of, append it to the end. So yeah, that's why we have to do that. Um, now let's just save it and then now submit. This is one quartillion, one dominations, whatever it is. Okay, and it got AC'd. So yeah, that's how you do this problem. I hope you guys understand what's going on. Basically, we're just representing every single um, place and dividing by 26 and then modding it by 26 to get the remainder of how far it is from the letter A, because A to Z. And then we just append that to the end of all our characters. That's what we're doing. All right, so yeah, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later, peace.